Hi, so I was asked how how do I do my wa watermarks and I use a program called iWatermark Pro um, and so the question then became how, how do you set up the watermark in iWatermark Pro so that's what I'm going to show you today uh, it's fairly simple uh, and basically I got two images here um, I can show you like for example I just have my name and the watermark year here um, and then like for example I have an image and it's all very easy to do under iWatermark I really uh, like the program it makes things very simple so this is basically what I'm going to show you how to do it's pretty simple to do so let me close this and we'll get started and I'll show you how to do that okay so when you open I, I watermark it basically gonna have a pr the screen the main screen it looks like this and it has main filtering resize um, renaming uh, advanced registration the main ones that we're worried about is the main tab here and uh, the resizing because when you create a watermark what you're going to do basically is change the picture um, size um, and probably the format of it and the main is of course to get all the files uh, watermarked so we'll start off with main first so um, first one is input a file folder so I'm going to click this X and clear it for right now basically what you're doing here is telling it what files that you're gonna process okay the next thing we have is processing task and that's where you tell it hey I want a watermark uh, you don't have to do that I can click this off and just say I want to resize images if I come over to resize I can say resize images and I can say what size I want them um, in this case I'm just doing something maybe for email or something I'm making them real small okay so I can say resize the images I could uncheck this and then it would not resize the images it would keep them the same okay um, so if I went like this uh, and I went back here and I said process some images um, it's basically if I give it a, um, a large picture file that's the way it's going to come out so I'm going to come over here I'm just say resize because usually when I'm watermark it it's going out on a web page or something or email into somebody and I don't want to send them a big large tip file so come back to main alright so we're going to be working with watermark so I'll keep that checked and then the third one is the output where you're going to output your files to so let's first thing we need to do though before we do any of the steps is we got to create a watermark if you haven't done so already if you come over to the edge here you got a watermark manager if I click that it'll open up another window and then from that window you'll see there's various templates it has some demo templates in here that if you just click on them you kind of see what they are you can see the images and then uh, if you click on the ones I created the two that you saw I have a little face over here it's kind of hard to see and then if I click this one uh, I messed that up well oh, there it is it's over here we need to fix this one um, so basically what we'll do is let's just go ahead and create a template okay so we'll start off come down here and this should work the same for Windows it might be a little bit different layout but the principles will be the same I'm going to click the plus sign, okay, bring that here, uh, it says no input folder, um, so therefore there's no images that are being shown in here, if you want to fix that, let's exit out of that, if I come over here it says on step one, drop images into folders, so let me select two images that I want to process, I'm going to select these two here, I'm going to bring them over and drop them into here, now if you notice it says two files, if I come back over and I click let's create our template again you'll notice I have an image it's kinda of good to have an image so you kinda of see what you're doing once you create the template it's there and you always just use basically the same one unless you want to change the colors or something so basically all you have to do is think, there's text there's graphics and there's a QR code barcodes um, text is probably the only thing you're going to use if you want to do like that face I had over there you can add a graphic file and it works exactly the same way as the text does so let's start with text I'm going to click that and you'll notice I have text now so let's just type in here Two thousand fourteen. Um, now I can highlight this 
independent. I can change this. I can click fonts um, and you can pick any font that you want. For example, I have this font here. It's called Pat I created. Um, you can take anything, New Times, depend, you know, whatever your system has for fonts um, you can use. Okay, so if you notice it changed it on here. Uh, I can make this bigger, smaller. I can change the color. For example, maybe I want this to be white. So let's just make it white. Um, and the color is, try to find you a color that's going to match most of your fo photos. If you're doing all black and white, then maybe a white one would be nice. If you're doing something that has a lot of color, maybe you want something that's a little bit more, uh, that's like a gold or black, something that'll kind of stand out but not too intrusive. Okay, so let me close that. So I got white there. I can make it bold if I want. And then once you're done, just go ahead and say save. Works just like a word processor. And you'll notice now I have it up on top here. There it is. Okay. Created my watermark. And that's how it'll look so far. I can come in. I can do effects. Uh, I can change things. I can make it like a shadow. If you notice, there's a little bit of shadow now. I can turn that back off. I can do back background colors if for example maybe I want a uh, let's let's just do it I'll say I want a uh, green background if you notice now I now have a green background color I don't want that on there I'm, I can take that off by changing the opacity down here close out of there let's close out of there I can put shadows in so click the shadow um, I can offset the shadow I can make it a little bit bigger, see how it's changing. I can change the shadow color if I want. Uh, let's make it red. Notice how I have it there. I can make it maybe yellow. Uh, right, that, let's just do the red. And I can change this a little bit. You play with this and then you get it the way you want it. Um, I can blur the shadow a little bit. I'll just leave it the way it is for right now. I can change the opacity of the whole copyright if you don't want it to stand out quite as much. So you can dull it down, basically is what it's doing until it's almost gone. So if it's too bright and stands out too much on your photos, sometimes that can distract your photos. So maybe you just want to tone it down a little bit. You can rotate it, you can scale, I can change the size of this, or I can just drag and drag the corner here and change the size of that also. So as you can see, that's fairly simple. So uh, the last one is location. Um, you can change the location. You could also just click in the image and drag it to where you want. I usually put it down in a corner somewhere. Um, so I'll leave it right here for you now. I can make this smaller, like I said, or I can make it bigger. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is right now. Okay, so I'll give this a name. You know, we'll call this YouTube demo, and I'll save it. Okay, and if you notice now, I have YouTube demo. I can click on this and lock it. That way, you can never change it. Uh, that way, you know, protect your different uh, templates that you make. Because you may make a few different ones. You may not just want one template. You may have different ones for different type of photos. I usually lock them that way they don't get messed up. So let's start again. So I'm going to go to input. I got two files that I wanted to input and that was these two files you see right here. The uh, TIFF files. These two. Okay. Next thing I go to process number uh, two. I want to make sure I got the watermark checked because we want to put a watermark on. If I don't want a watermark I can uncheck it. But I want it checked. Okay, so for example, if I was just going to resize some images, but I don't want the watermark, just uncheck it. Okay, where you want the watermark. And then, of course, come over to Watermark Manager. Make sure you have the correct one selected, and you can see it here, YouTube Demo. I can close this now if I want to. We got This is the one we want to use. Okay, next thing, Output 2. So we're going to output it to a folder. Um, and we don't we could do subfolders if we wanted but we don't really need to do that the easiest way to do that 
uh, do this is drag the folder. If I come over here, if I drag, like for example, this email folder over to this one, it'll automatically put the path in for me. Okay, or you can do the find um, and pick your folder via the browser. Okay, so I got the, all that done. It's really actually ready to process. The only thing I need to do is come over if I wanted to resize it. I can come over and I can pick um, the sizes that I want. Um, I'm going to just leave it to this because it's a fairly small for email. Then I can come over here. I can also do renaming. I can rename. Uh, I won't get into that right now. We're just going to let them stay the same name. The only thing we're doing is watermarking and resizing. I got all that ready. Okay. It tells me there's two, two files to process. All I need to do now is come over here. And I'm going to say start processing. If you notice in email, I have no files. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and click start processing. You notice it's processing. It says finish two files. And if you look over here now, I have two items in there. I'll open it up. Let's open these files. Okay. And, and there you go. So I got a copyright 2014. So I thought it was going to be a little more white and not my shadow. So that's why you need to play with it. Um, this isn't very good. The shadow the, the shadow's red, but my um, copyright is kind of pink looking. So I'm, I may have messed up the color when I did it. I think I had it originally white. But you have to play with it. So, but it's easy. If you want to change that, you just go back to Watermark Manager. Oops. Click the lock, and then come down to uh, Edit, or you can click the pencil. And now I can come back over here, and I can change all this again. Let me make sure I had this white, and I probably changed it when I did the opacity. Um, let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, a little bit. And it's probably my shadow that um, that created the problem. Uh, I'll just make it white for right now. So we can see. It looks a lot more white there. So you have to play with it, but that's the basic principle. So hopefully this helps. And uh, maybe I'll, later on I'll do another video on some more advanced stuff for it, like doing graphics like I did. Okay, I hope you enjoyed.